Okay, welcome back to my channel. I am your devilishly handsome host, the most famous YouTuber in the world that no one has ever heard of. So today we're going to figure out where that screw came from. Uh, that one there. So we're going to start by taking this thing apart. I'm going to see if you can see or not. I'm going to take the, uh, the plates off the end and take them off of these carriages. I got a vacuum, huh? Um, I'm going to lay it down and we're going to have a look underneath and see if see if it came out of the bottom of this this whole assembly here. So I guess it's time for some tools. Now this did come with uh, this did come with wrenches. When I was assembling it, I found out that uh, it came with the four Allen keys and it came with six different size screws. So I had to dig in a little bit to my own tools and uh, we do have some spare parts here, so that's, that's pretty cool. I don't see anything. That's it. see anything that small so hopefully um, if it is one of the two like on the top here hopefully the other one is still in there because if it isn't I'm gonna have to go searching through the garbage okay, so I just vacuumed everything up didn't give it much thought because uh, this is way too small Actually, take this. I've got this partition here to keep the dust off my computer. I'm gonna have to take this out first, and uh, that way I can get to the end. This one, the other end, isn't really obstructed, but this this is in the way, so I got to take that out. So give me, give me a microsecond. I don't know. Cool transitions. And uh, I'll be right back. So, so here's what we're dealing with. On this side. The other side I've already got off. <laughs> this one. Almost took the wrong one off. I'm gonna loosen these. These two need a little I gotta take the track off, which really sucks to put on, I mean. All the wires are in the way. This is a miserable thing to put on. The, uh, the one across the top on that gauge where, where it meets the head that uh, piece we're going to look at in a minute. That one was way worse than this to put on. So, so now we get that loose. I got that loose. We can take these out. It's a pretty simple design, this, this machine. Not something I want to build from scratch, but you really could. You really could. I like that it came with a, in a kit with everything, basically everything you need. Let's get you a better shot up here. What's going on? All right. 
yeah, still can't see anything. I don't remember how these came apart. Ah, there we go. Did they lose a screw? Of course they did. Now I need a magnet. Hold on. Follow this looks smooth on the uh, on video. It's because I cropped a lot out. Just dropped a dropped a screw, had to find it. So alright. Still can't see anything. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Find something to prop this up with. See if we can see what's going on. It appears that that is where my screw came out. Get a better light on here. Yeah. Yep. That's where it came out. So my next step, I guess, is to, I don't know, do I bring it up or do I bring it down? Uh, it doesn't appear to be, let's bring it up so I can get my fingers in there. Yeah, see there, now you can see. Looks like that screw goes right down in that hole. Just got to figure out which wrench. Okay, we got the wrench. Maybe. Delicate game of operation here. Let me zoom you back out so you're not looking at my knuckles. The wrench is just tad too long. Now, I tightened the top one up. first found this. Let's see if this one's loose. That one's still snug. Okay. So I tightened the top one up and then I had to back it off because it wouldn't move. So okay. now that's back in. That's where I filed it in that last video where it was catching on the oh it was catching on this corner a little bit too. So alright we've got the Got the screw back in. I guess next would be I guess we'll put it back together now. And um uh, change that spindle too. The bearings were howling.
I'm going to leave this chain off for the last because we might need to readdress these. So I'm just putting them all finger tight. And then I'm going to shift my attention to the, to the head. Is that even in frame? Yeah, okay. Okay. do I think so I'm gonna bring this down so it's the limit switch which I've bent by using it. Okay so there's the limit switch. So what I want to do Use that spindle on. Because they sent me a new one. Uh, Pieces breaking off. They sent me a new one because this one is making noise. So we'll loosen up these two. Notice that I've got a piece of paper in here. It was a shim to get it to sit right. So I think that's been allowed. Clean this up a little bit. I think I want to raise the height up too because I was running into clearance issues. I want to raise it if I want to lower it. Here's the new spindle. Under warranty, so that was good. There's the old one with a little bit of miles on it. There's the new one. I don't know why this this one was howling. I mean, guys don't feel loose, but man, they were howling. So we'll see if this one's a little quieter. Set that aside for. We need it in the future. So, what do you guys think? I mean, should I be? Should I have this at the at the limit like that? Should I raise this up? We were kind of in the middle before. Do that, and then I have the bit. I think I want this so it won't cut into the waste board. So I think I'm going to raise this up. We're, we're going to try it. We're going to see what happens. <clears throat> so now this is loose. going to do I did last time. Where is it? Because I took this bit. This is a um, surfacing bit. But if I set that down on here in the spindle, oh, you can't see through the paper, can you? Bring in, bring in closer. So if I put this bit in here, get my quarter inch collet. So if I put this bit in here, I tighten that up. I have to 
be super tight, just snug. And you stick this in like that. Now this is resting, or should be, resting on the board square. And I can look at the gap around the spindle and I can, I can see where I need to put shims. So right now, we're at the limit switch. No, I want to be able to cut to the surface. So we need a shim back here, or two, looks like. As you can see the gap in the back. Or maybe you can't. Anyway, there's a gap back there. There's a gap over here. And we're touching in the front. And this is sitting perpendicular to the... It's resting on those three legs, basically. So I'm going to shim those two back gaps. I'm going to double shim this one because it's twice as thick as that one. And hopefully that'll be square to the table and it'll cut right. Okay, so we've got our shims in. And it's standing up on its legs. I've raised this up. I don't know if I'm doing it right or wrong, but that's what it's going to be for the moment. Now if we needed to, See how this all, all moves? If we needed to, we could do those screws down below again. But I'm going to leave this sitting here. So I'm going to tighten these up first. And then I'm going to tighten up that chuck with the shims in it. Make sure nothing moves. So let's lock these down. There's also adjustments up here that can be made. Come on. Find the hole. I need it when that happens. There we go. Oh yeah, you like that? Goes right in. And it is right stripped out. Let's see if we can get the inside one in. back on. Alright. And we should be square with the table. So we can tighten that up next. Alright, we should be square. Ish. Let's see what happens.
Now we're going to be a pain. Wires back on. Give it a little coaxing to get it away from the fan. We should be good to go. Hey, let's give her a little test drive. Spindle. Huh. Actually turned on. Oh. Okay, you got it. Give him another test drive. Oh, that is that is way quieter than the old one. That's way better. I'm happy with that. Now I did go through and uh, I blew everything off. Blew out the channels. Which this, this helps quite a bit. But you still get a little bit of stuff in there and it gets stuck on the rollers and not pretty. It's like the sawmill. It just doesn't run right. And, um, <clears throat> that appears to be crooked. Whatever. The uh, spindle is super, super quiet. So I'm happy with that. And this one you can't really... The other one you do that and it would spin for a minute. Go our wires on. Wires are clear. I guess that's it. Screws back in place, new spindle in, raised it up, I don't know if that was a good thing or a bad thing, find out, I was thinking about running it down a little bit, but I don't know, we'll try it there and see what happens, it's, it's about, you know, it's a little higher than the carriage, I might have to move it again, okay. we're back in business. Tune in for the next one. I don't know what it's going to be, but uh, I hope it's interesting.